this one is from work from my side it is a very simple sum based on the phases now i'm going to show you all one shortcuts right on the base of the time period of the shf i'm going to show you all uh, some shortcuts on the base of the time period of the shf right now let's move on to the cases of the time period you all are aware of right uh, okay before that let's move let's have some water okay so uh, you all are aware of there are some cases right in which the time period of shms are asked like suppose this is a spring this is mass m if gently push is given A gentle push is given then obviously it's going to start performing shm what will be its time period t is equal to 2 pi right under root of m by k correct this is an actual formula now suppose if two springs are connected in parallel right what will be the formula of time period of shm t is equal to 2 pi under root of m by k equivalent t is equal to 2 pi under root of this thing of this all of these things right okay some part of like this concepts we have seen into the work energy of power while dealing right we have seen this when uh, what will happen when springs are connected in series right what will happen when springs are springs are connected in parallel so in parallel k equivalent right that is equivalent to k1 plus k2 right so final time period equation of the shm is under root of m by k1 plus k2 right suppose this is a case of the parallel connection of the springs suppose the series connections of the springs it is given this is a spring of the spring constant k1 another spring of the spring constant k2 right and they are connected in series this is k1 and this is k2 right one it is connected in parallel second it is connected in series so in this case k equivalent right we are having when they are connected in series is k k1 k2 whole divided by k1 plus k2 so the time period for this that is t is equal to 2 pi under root of m whole divided by k1 k2 whole divided by it's k1 plus k2 this is the time period of the shm this is a very basic formulation now in this right two to three methods are there right okay sums based on this in j mains and advanced they are asked right a lots of pulleys and spring mass systems are given a complicated systems are given and we need to calculate the time period of the shm of the particle right we need to calculate the time period of the shm of the particle and today we are going to see that stuff into the very simplified form shortcut i am going to show you in front of you all the mains and advanced level sums based on this shortcuts right we are going to solve now let's see what actual the shortcut is right today i'm going to give you all the solution for a right most critical problem let's see right suppose one arrangement it is given like this way right one arrangement it is given like this way again we need to calculate the time period for the shm pulley mass system is there with springs attached to it right okay for this a displacement method is there and blah blah lots of things are there but i'm going to provide you all a shortcut direct shortcut no need for anything and that shortcut is applicable for everywhere okay. the shortcut states 
द फॉर्मूला ऑफ द टाइम पीरियड इज टी इज इक्वल टू टू पाई अंडर रूट ऑफ एम बाई के इक्विवेलेंट राइट दिस इज अ फॉर्मूला दैट यू नीड टू रिमेंबर फॉर ऑल ऑफ दोज केसेस वट विल बी द वैल्यू ऑफ द के इक्विवेलेंट दैट विल बी के ऑफ स्प्रिंग टेंशन ऑन ब्लॉक बाई टेंशन ऑन स्प्रिंग होल स्क्वेर सार सपोज इफ इट इज अबाउट मोर देन वन स्प्रिंग इज देन हाउ यू आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व आई गोइंग टू शो यू ऑल राइट एंड मोस्ट क्रिटिकल सम्स वी आर गोइंग टू टेक ओके जस्ट टू रिमेंबर दिस टू थिंग्स राइट एंड नाउ यू आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस सम्स लेट सी फर्स्ट सपोज इफ इट इज अरेंजमेंट इट इज गिवन लाइक दिस वे ऑल ऑफ दो क्रिटिकल सम्स आई एम गोइंग टू टेक The arrangement is like this way. Right. This is a spring of the spring constant k. This is of the spring constant k. We need suppose if the gentle push is given to the block, then we need to calculate the time period for the SHM of the block. What will happen? Right. What will happen here? Right. It's a very simple thing. Right. What will happen here? Ah, again, the displacement we are going to calculate it. No, simple one shortcut. See, first of all, what will be the tension on the block? T. What will be the tension on this spring? T. What will be the tension on this spring? Two T. Two springs are there, na? N numbers of for this shortcut. N numbers of springs are there. Consider all the into the series. Right. Now see, very simple thing. For spring one, this is spring number one. This is spring number two, right? Can I say K one? That is K for spring, right? Into tension of block by tension of spring whole square, right? So can I say K one? That is equivalent to what? K of spring is K. It's K. What is the tension of block T? Tension of spring T whole square. Can I consider this as equation number one? Yes. For spring two, right? Can I say K two that is is equal to K of spring into tension of block by tension of spring whole square? What is tension on block T? Tension on spring two T. So can I say K two that is is equal to K, right? Tension on block T. This is two T. Right whole square. So k two that will be equivalent to k by four. Can I consider this as equation number two? Two springs are there, na? Using the shortcut we calculated that. But now consider both in series. Now what so arrangement it is given? Consider both in series. What will be the k equivalent? That will be equivalent to k one k two whole divided by k one plus k two. Right. so it will be k dot k by 4 whole divided by 5 k by 4 so this k by 4 is going to cancel k equivalent we are going to get k by 5 what is the time period t is equal to 2 pi under root of m by k equivalent so t is equal to 2 pi under root of 5 m by k this is the time period of the oscillation for the object shortcut let's take another sum to understand this stuff suppose if this arrangement it is given this is k this is k this is k we need suppose if the gentle push is given we need to calculate the time period for the shm of this blocks a most weird arrangement right i am damn sure suppose if this kind of the arrangement is asked into the j means or 
right advanced level examination you are going to right i'm damn sure you will fail to apply the regular method but this shortcut is going to help because in this kind of the examinations right we are not to moving on to the theoretical approach right that's why what is the tension on the block suppose here the tension is t t t t t t and t right here we are having 2t here we are having 2t here we are having t and here we are having t the tension on the block 6t how many springs are there we are having three springs right we have to consider all in series but calculations are individual for spring one right k1 that is is equal to k of spring that is k tension on block by tension on spring right all of the springs are having the same 2t 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 right okay so it's tension on block by tension on the spring 60 right whole square this is gonna cancel right so it is is equal to k by 9 for spring 2 again the calculation is going to be k by 9 for spring 3 again the calculation is going to be k by 9 consider all in series right 9 by k 9 by k right and 9 by k okay and 9 by k that is 1 by k equivalent right okay so what will be the k equivalent that is k by 27 right what is the time period t is equal to 2 pi under root of right 27 m by k right okay so it's 9 3 is a 20 is equal to okay 6 pi under root of 9 into 3 so it's 3 m by k this is the time period of the shm of the block a very critical case you are going solve using some so this is how the time period of the uh, right shm is being calculated right now let's move on to the most important and the last point of this chapter right okay see according to the je and need point of view whatever it is coming i'm showing you all in front okay now let's move on to the most important thing and that is 